so this is the dehydrated SCOBY slash pellicle. SCOBY is an acronym for symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeast. And what this essentially is, is cellulose. Um, and it's a mat that grows on top of the kombucha. And this has been dehydrated. And then I've cut it in half and stuck it into this jar of water to rehydrate. And then when we come back later, I will um, start a batch of kombucha. The, the liquid yeah. is called kombucha. Yeah. And the, the piece that you're holding in your hand is called scoby. And that's the starter. Like. So, uh, no, it's a, uh, that's what a lot of people think, but that's not exactly true. You don't actually need the scoby to make kombucha. What you need, like dahi or yogurt, you need dahi to make more dahi or you need... Mm -hmm. So you need kombucha to make more kombucha like oh, that so, so the scoby is also in the liquid but this also houses all the microbes and um, this actually doesn't have any nutritive value it's like okay it has like a bit of protein uh, and a, a bunch of fiber mm -hmm. but uh, it's like a it houses the microbes when you when you put this in but if you don't have this you can just add some old kombucha like if you know somebody who brews kombucha or if you buy some com commercial kombucha that's good quality where they haven't added like other stuff to it then it's very easy mm -hmm. to start your own batch from it so this is just a byproduct uh, and it keeps growing with every batch oh. but you don't actually need this so if you do use this and you don't have old kombucha like today we don't have old kombucha uh, we have to add like something else to bring the pH down. Um, so we'll add like some vinegar or something like that when we make the batch. Uh, and then that will, that will brew into a, its own batch of kombucha. So okay, auntie, what we did yesterday was rehydrate this in this, uh, in just in water mm -hmm. now this already has the microbes mm -hmm. in here so uh, today what we're we're just going to use the same water there's no point in adding more, more yeah because it's already the water also has its own microbes and uh, this is can you tell me this tea that the tea concentrate that you made you how uh, uh, so what the ratio is so three cups of water yeah. three tablespoons of tea okay yes. three tablespoons of tea and three cups of water okay so strong. really we yeah strong. yeah so we'll use strong. about one cup i'm just eyeballing this and it's uh this will the tea is for nutrition but also flavor mm -mm. and we add sugar to it I'll get you a spoon just a moment. Okay. So the, there is a ratio to this. So for one liter of water, we add about 60 grams or a quarter cup of sugar usually. I have to write this. Oh, no, no, no. We, we'll, we'll send you this stuff. So this is, uh, I'm just going to eyeball this right now because this is like our first batch. Mm -hmm. And it won't be amazing, this batch, because we don't have any starter kombucha. Now that starter kombucha is super important. But since we don't have that, we're going to replace it with white vinegar. That's okay? Yeah, it's okay. It's just that your first batch is going to be slightly more um, like acidic. acidic and not as nice tasting because this is harsh. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's fine because then you can use that as a starter for your next few batches. I'm just adding, I'm just eyeballing this. It's a bit full. We'll take some out. But yeah, just like... Yeah. About a tablespoon. No, a little bit more. This is very highly concentrated, so it doesn't need much. Yeah, maybe about two tablespoons for this. But when you when you do it with the kombucha, you won't need to add the white vinegar. And we won't even stir this; it'll do its own thing. And uh, this is a good one to put in. You can just let it ferment like this. Usually, we give it like a. It doesn't need to be too tight. It's just to keep the the flies and things out mm -hmm. you can also cover it with a paper towel mm -hmm. and okay. put a rubber band in there and uh, that it just needs to breathe a little bit yeah i'm doing this how do you know when it's done 
you know when it's done so usually it'll take about seven days or so i i would give it seven days and then taste it and what it should so one of the indicators that it's doing everything that it should is that it'll grow a, a new baby scoby on top and uh that will hi come and that will um uh, so that's a good indicator and then when you taste it it should taste kind of like sweet and sour kind of like an iced tea but with like a slightly apple cidery taste yeah, a sour tiny, funk, like yeah funk. yeah yeah and um, yeah like a iced tea crossed with a like a wine or a beer or app and apple cider vinegar so that's what you're aiming for but it could so now you leave this for 7 days seven ish days and it's a good idea to just kind of taste a little bit every day because that way you know how it's progressing and then when you're that's usually the advice that i give like you taste every day and uh, you when you're happy with the taste you bottle it and then you stick it in the fridge because like carbonation and all is like the next level complication which maybe like too much for your mom right now yeah <laughs> to not waste this i have kind of made this into a decoction that is ready to use one two oh, oh focus okay ready <laughs> 